Good day everyone, I am Sir Kim. I will be your arts instructor for this lesson too. Our lesson for today is all about contemporary art forms and practices from the regions. We have seven major arts forms. One is visual arts, second is literature, three music, four theater, five dance, six is architecture, seven is film. Our first one will be visual arts. In the American period, education was introduced to the Philippines. There were Filipinos who studied abroad and influenced the art making in the country. One is Juan Arellano Diosdado Lorenzo and Victorio Edades. Victoria Dadis introduced modern visual art through his exhibition, which shocked many people audiences due to his different style in painting. Instead of using bright and happy colors, he used dull and dark hues in his works. Urban setups became the usual subjects of visual arts. After World War II, artists started creating proletarian art. It is refers to the literature created by working class writers and artists. It means that which depicts the life after the war, social issues, and economic problems. Yun daw yung mga gumagawa ng art regarding sa social issues, economic problems. Modernism garnered a larger influence since there were institutions created like the Art Association of the Philippines by Purita Calao Ledesma and the Philippine Art Gallery by Lidia Villanueva Ardila, which supported the modern art movement. Through the years, different artists carrying different styles in making arts became popular and various visual art trends emerged. There were stylistic arts. The term style refers to the resemblance works of art have to one another. We have here the examples. First one is Vicentes Manansalas, the bird seller with Cubism touch. And the second picture is Vicentes Manansalas, Nipahat. So, Paris Cubism, Vicente Manansala, Romeo Tabuena, and Cesar Legaspi were the three of the known Cubists in their times. Paris Cubism is, it is a kind of Cubism showing fragmented figures in larger planes, color harmonies, and textures. Also, during the modern period, abstraction was employed. So, abstraction art uses visual language of shape, form, color, and line to create a composition which may exist with a degree of independence from visual references in the world. Those among the known abstractionists during those times were H.R. Ocampo, Constantino Bernardo, Federico Aguilar Alcuaz, Arturo Luz, and Jose Hoya. We have here the examples of Napoleon Abueva Transfiguration, 1979 Eternal Gardens Memorial Park. In sculpture, Napoleon Abueva became the famous for his modern works. Abueva combined these materials to produce unique sculptures. They are using plastic, jade, brass, and other materials.
to other sculptors join Abueva in his modernism and produce creative works. This kind of art continued to flourish and the number of artists eager to creating innovation increased. Next is sculptors. Impi Pilapis' last work. Sculptors like Ramon Orlina and Impi Pilapi explore the use of glass in making sculptures. Surrealism was a cultural movement which developed in Europe in the aftermath of the World War, World War I and was largely influenced by Dada. The movement is best known for its visual artworks and writings and just juxtaposition of uncommon imagery. So, the known surrealist in this time was Gallo Ocampo and Jovenel Sanso. Magic realism also entered the scene. This refers to the style in a painting showing minute details of the subject and highlighting their textures and color. Dito sa magic realism, may kita natin na para siyang live kung titignan natin sa isang larawan. Kitang kita yung pag-highlight ng bagay na nais ipinapakita ng magic realism, yung bigas. Genre painting is showing the lives of Town Fox, legends, and traditions stayed in the Philippine contemporary period in order to promote and preserve the rich artistry in, of the country, the national government through the NCCA's Committee on Visual Arts, or CVA, launched an educational program that tends to convene artists annually in the country through their regional and national congenses. So it means Artists from the different parts of the Philippines interact on different congress activities while being encouraged to participate actively in the national or international exhibits, workshops, and lessons. yung mga tao o yung mga artists, ina-encourage sila na sumali dun sa mga events in order to them to learn. There were art groups founded in the regions and provinces like Baguio Art Guild and Bacolod Black Artist Asia. Literature. In the field of poetry during the contemporary period, publication of some poets to come whose journals emerge. Bagay is the it is a kind of poetry which uses colloquial language and is built on concrete image which tend to describe experiences. Ibig sabihin, katulad ng ginawa ni Rolando Tinio at ni Jose F. Lacaba, kasama na rin si Benvenido Lumbera, Antonio Samson, and Edmundo Martinez, sila yung mga taong gumawa o bumuo din ng bagay movement o bagay na poetry. An example of Bagay poetry is a valediction sa Hill Crest written by Rolando Tino, which employs Taglish. Later on, national consciousness was inserted into Bagay poetry. Pag sinabi naman natin Bagay poetry, gumagamit sila ng colloquial o yung karaniwang mga salita. Hindi siya masyado formal o hindi natin madalas nakikita sa mga sulatin. May kita natin siya sa, o maririnig natin siya sa daan, o ginagamit Conversational. So I will give you time to read this. Validation sa Hillcrest by Rolando S. Tino. The next author was Amado V. Hernandez. Introduced another form of poetry through his work on Bayang Malaya. So, si Amado V. Hernandez, also known as Doveglion, 
It is short for Dove, Eagle, and Lion and was credited for introducing the reverse consonants rhyme scheme in poetry. Yung mga pabaliktad na poetry, siya yung bumubuo, siya yung nagsimula gumawa ng mga ganong style ng poetry. He was born in September 13, 1903 and died on March 24, 1970. He was a Philippine writer and a labor leader who was known for his criticism of social injustices in the Philippines and was later imprisoned for his involvement in the communist movement. Gumagawa siya ng mga poetry na laban sa government noon, lalo-lalo na la, labag sa labor. So during the martial law, nabuhay yung dugo ng pagiging Pilipino ng mga manunulat. Kumuha sila ng maraming poetry. So during the contemporary period, the works of American British poets influenced the English poems in the Philippines. Poets like Edith Chempo, Emmanuel Torres, and Dominador Ilio. So we have here the English short story writers, NBM Gonzalez, Nick Joaquin, Alejandro Rojas, Francisco Arcelliana, Gregorio Brillantes, Bienvenido Santos, and Edith Chempo. Yan yung mga nagsusulat ng mga short story sa panahon noon. During the contemporary period, there are also short story produced which is vernacular or spoken as one's mother tongue. Ibig sabihin, kung mga kinagis na nilang salita, halimbawa, Bisaya, Ligay Noon, Tagalog, sa mother tongue. However, it was only the publication of the Filipino literary works that continued due to the lack of moral and financial support. And due to the writer's choice of producing works, using a language that can be understood by more readers. Kaya sila gumagawa nun, kasi yung iba hindi naman marunong magtagalog. Yung iba, bisaya lang. Yung iba, ilokano lang ang alam na lengguahe o dialecto. So short story writers produced more social conscious fiction during the 1970s. Short stories depicting the lives of the working class emerged Social protest fiction was produced during the Marcos era. Ibig sabihin, umusbong yung pagbuo ng mga short story laban sa martial law o laban sa pag-upo ni Pangulong Marcos. So that's end of our lesson 2. I hope you learned a lot. And thank you and have a nice day.